My daughter recently purchased one of these K40 laser etcher burners. Um, I'm pretty familiar with laser etching and burning because I use a much larger version of this uh, where I used to work. Um, there's a couple things on these, and I've seen some YouTube videos uh, that are problems. One of the things is the exhaust fan on them, and the exhaust portion here comes, you lose probably three quarters of an inch of your act, actual working area because this thing extends so far into that, in, into that area there. It seems to still draft okay, but not as good as I was thinking it should. So I got to doing some checking and on the back of it, now I've already got this disassembled, but what's supposed to happen is this hose, which is just a big aluminum, kind of like a, a dryer hose, would attach to this. This is like four inches in diameter or so. So I wanted to check out the blower that's in it and remove this. And what I realized is that they've got like a five inch fan in there or maybe even larger trying to pump out through this much smaller hole. There's the fan. So what I did is I came in and drew up this little adapter or transition piece. Um, now granted, the uh, airflow does get restricted back down to the smaller diameter but at least it's not deading in, dead ending into a wall. And so with that design and this 3D Ender Pro printer that I was able to score off of Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks, I came in and uh, printed this thing. It took like 17 hours. And we're gonna go put it on the machine, see what it does. Well, here it is installed, it fits perfect. Um, now then you can kind of see, well maybe you can't see, but the fan is not restricted uh, like it was before. So maybe it'll work a lot better. I'll get some video of it actually performing. Well, it's the next morning. Uh, we cut some leather stuff yesterday and to me the fan still wasn't drawing as good as it should well i found that uh this whole piece comes out remove the four screws in the back and this whole piece comes out but that's where the restriction is in my mind so i'm gonna try to figure out some way to reshape this thing to where it can allow that uh, fan do its job while i'm reworking this exhaust system for this laser. I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and figure out some sort of grading system here uh, because when you're burning through like leather or anything like that, you're just bouncing off the back of this metal onto your leather It's not, and it's not getting a good cut. So I know a lot of people make adjustable height beds, which is on the, uh, on the horizon, but just not today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this piece of metal here and see if I can find some sort of grating uh, that will uh, fit in here or I can adapt in this area so we'll get a better cut when we're cutting through the leather. Stay tuned. Okay, I went ahead and pulled the fan back out of the machine here and the opening for the fan to pull through is only seven eighths of an inch by four and a quarter. So I got to doing some figuring out here and here's what I came up with. First of all, the fan is about uh, four and a quarter inches in diameter here. That equals 15.9 square inches of space. Less this center area which is two and a half inches, 
that equals 4.9 square inches. So you gotta take this overall area here, subtract that. And when you do that, you take the 15.9 square inches minus the 4.9 square inches for this dead section in the middle, and that gives you 11 square inches of actual surface area. So, again, the cabinet opening is 7 eighths by 4.25 inches. That equals 3.71 square inches of space. So really, I have a deficit here of space of 7 and 7.29 inches. Okay, after a little handiwork with a Dremel, I removed this. So now then, we're wide open into the cabinet. I'm gonna put the fan in and see how it draws. Okay, I've got the uh, fan installed now. It's really totally wide open to the inside. You can see the fan back in there. Also, as far as the work table, I found this stuff right here at Lowe's. This came in a 12 by 24 sheet. I cut it down and I cut it to just fit in here. So I used some washers under the screws so that it wouldn't fall over the stud sticking up to hold it. And for what we're gonna be doing, it's plenty rigid enough and it should let the, uh, the laser cut through the leather materials a little easier. So we're gonna do a test here in a few minutes and see how it goes. Okay, I've got the laser set up now with the modifications I made. You can see my table now. Also, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see that the smoke is drawing nicely to the back, even with all the stuff I cut out. So I added a dryer vent in my wall here in the garage and shortened that pipe as much as possible. So now it's just a straight shot to the outside. So the only restriction I have is on the outside is the little uh, dampening doors that close down automatically when there's no air going through the vent. Uh, and it does restrict it some, so I may have to uh, print a 3D part or something. I can go out there when I get ready to do some stuff and wedge those uh, louvers shut. But anyway, right now, it looks like it's working a whole lot better than it did. Um, so maybe that'll do it. 